Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to 20 amazing Minecraft mods that will enhance your gaming experience by adding powerful weapons and armor that you may have never used before. Please show your support by like the video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. I'd like to start the video with the Ultrian Devices mod. You may find this mod quite familiar, as it is a remake of Mr. Crayfish's device mod. This mod will provide a laptop capable of basic functions. To get started, you will need to place a router and a laptop in close proximity. Next, connect them together using an Ethernet cable. This will enable the laptop to access the Internet. One noteworthy feature of this version is the smoothness of the laptop's opening and closing animations. When you first open your laptop, the first thing you need to do is activate the router. There are some basic functions that I would like to mention. For example, you can customize the wallpaper of your laptop with a Minecraft picture. Also, there is a drawing software called Pixel Painter that is specially designed for this laptop. However, it can only create 32 pixel images and may not be capable of producing beautiful pictures. I will give it a try by writing my name on it. In previous versions of Minecraft, it was possible to install and play both the snake game and the bank. The currency used by the bank in the game was emeralds, allowing you to deposit and withdraw money at any time in a very simple way. If you're looking for an entertaining game, you can easily download the snake game, which is designed to be as simple as possible to fit the laptop. The next mod we will discuss is called Guns Craft. This unique mod allows you to purchase guns through a vending machine using either money or gold. Unlike other mods, you won't have to craft the guns yourself. Instead, the vending machine provides a convenient way to convert between money and gold to make your purchases. To buy a gun, you need to have enough money to purchase it along with the appropriate accessories and ammunition. The cost of the gun and accessories will depend on their quality and features. I am planning to purchase an M4A1 rifle along with its essential accessories like scopes, magazines, and silencers to demonstrate how to attach them to the gun and how the gun operates. It's important to determine which accessories are compatible with your gun, as using the wrong ones can prevent them from being attached. You'll have a dedicated shortcut to access the accessory attachment feature. Simply place the accessory in the empty box and find the appropriate location to attach it. I have played hundreds of gun mods in Minecraft, and I can confirm that while this gun mod is not the best in terms of gun design and animation, it is still one of the best gun mods available for Minecraft due to its great compatibility with the game and user-friendly design. One desirable feature for FPS game enthusiasts is the ability to perform headshots in this mod. If you are curious about the strength of these guns, you can try them out with me on the toughest boss ever created in Minecraft. Using the gun I had, the Warden was defeated in just 3 seconds, The mod I would like to introduce is called Project The Void. Even if you are not a fan of armor that has been technologically enhanced, you will still appreciate this mod. It allows you to transform into various void frames, giving you the ability to use skills like a real superhero. There are two types of armor that have this transformation ability. The newest addition to the armor collection is the gray armor. Although it is still in beta version, you can still transform and use its skills. Its basic skill is punching to create shockwaves that can damage and hold back enemies that are hit. The second skill allows you to glide through the air for a short distance. To use this skill, you need to run, jump, and activate the skill at that moment. The third skill is jumping up and down on the ground, causing fire and knocking up surrounding enemies. This is a useful skill to handle crowds that come your way. However, since this is still a test version, there is currently an error when you use the third skill. You cannot use special skills, special skills is the strongest skill that the armor sets in this mod must have. In order to discover the special skills of the purple armor, we need to take a closer look. This armor comes equipped with two standard skills, the ability to slash enemies and the power to teleport short distances. These skills are incredibly useful in combat. However, 
The armor also possesses special abilities that are even more impressive. To unlock these abilities, you must gather special spherical energy that is dropped by monsters with void effects. Once you have accumulated enough energy, you can activate the ultimate form of your armor, which is even more powerful and visually stunning. From there, you can unleash devastating special abilities that can easily decimate enemies within a large area. The next mod is mod called Butchery. It is actually a remake of the Butcher's Delight mod, but this time it is compatible with version 1.20 instead of version 1.12. With this mod, you can obtain meat from peaceful mobs in Minecraft, similar to how it works in real life. To make sure that the surrounding area doesn't get dirty, you must use a blood drain mechanism to prevent blood from spilling out. You have to wait for the blood to drain, which takes some time, before you can begin eating the meat. Next, you will need to use a butcher knife, skinning knife, pliers, or scissors, depending on the animal from which you remove the flesh. A simple skinning knife will do the trick when it comes to pigs, cows, and sheep. Chickens will be a little more unique because we will have to put their bodies on the butcher table in order to obtain flesh. Cut the fur first using scissors, then butcher the meat with a skinning knife. The butcher table is not necessary for goats to accomplish it. They can do it immediately after hanging. It surprised me that in Minecraft Butchery Mod, we can kill villagers and even eat their meat. Bruh. The fifth mod is called Roost Rehatched. It introduces a new type of bird mount known as the Roost, which was discovered by the illagers. These mounts are trained to enhance the illagers' combat skills by providing faster and stronger movement. You can locate them at Roost Rider Outposts. That is the quickest way to obtain them. In each Roost Rider Outpost, you will find a locked Roost that you can tame. To tame them, you need grub, which you can obtain in two ways. Firstly, you can check the illagers' chest, as they usually carry the necessary accessories to ride Roost. Secondly, you can find grub under the stones scattered on the map, typically in the desert area. Once tamed, the roost will have a saddle without requiring anything else. They are quite fast and can withstand falls without taking damage, making them a secure mode of transportation. Additionally, grub can be used to create grub salad, which helps bird mobs lay eggs immediately. You have the option to create two charms, the featherlight charm and the void light charm. The Featherlight Charm will protect you from any damage when falling from great heights, making it perfect for those who enjoy using Elytra. The Void Light Charm acts as a safety net by teleporting you back to the last block you were standing on if you accidentally fall into the void. The sixth mod is called The Awakening of the Elder Souls. It features extremely powerful bosses that you must face. Each animal has its own unique skills and great strength. To give you an idea of their power, I will be using the same gun I used to defeat the Warden in the second mod. However, defeating these bosses takes a lot of time as they have annoying ways of avoiding damage. While there are some shortcomings in the boss animations, I believe that this new mod has great potential for further development in the future. The next Minecraft mod is called the Dawn Era. It introduces the age of dinosaurs into the game, featuring various types of these prehistoric creatures. However, the most remarkable aspect of this mod is the ability to ride some of these dinosaurs such as Diablosaurus. Ceratosaurus, Triceratopses, and Rex. To give you a brief introduction, I will explain how to tame them. Firstly, let's talk about Ceratosaurus. They tend to sleep during the day, so try to approach them slowly and quietly. Then place a block up high so they can't reach you and spread some meat on the ground. Wait until it's dark, which is their hunting time, and they will discover the meat and eat it. It may take some time, but eventually, they will become your dinosaur and you'll have a powerful mount. 
It is necessary to climb down and place the saddle and the dinosaur along with the armor before riding it. The mechanism of operating the dinosaur is similar to playing Ark Survival. Next up are the Rex dinosaurs, which have opposite activity times. They sleep at night because they are not afraid of other dinosaurs and have no need to hunt in the dark. To build a structure for the Rex, use obsidian instead of plank, as they have the ability to knock down trees. Place the block very high to avoid being seen by the Rex. If they spot you, they won't eat your food. Taming a Rex will take more than a day in Minecraft, but once tamed, it can be used as a mount that is as powerful as a monster. It can break down trees wherever it goes and deal damage to surrounding mobs. Let's appreciate the mighty roar of this dinosaur, and the power it can provide you with, once tamed with a lot of meat after waiting patiently for 20 minutes. It has the ability to knock down trees, which works in a similar way to the Dynamics Tree mod. This provides us with a completely new way to utilize this dinosaur. When it comes to herbivorous dinosaurs, they are generally easier to tame compared to their carnivorous counterparts. However, one should not underestimate the power of Triceratopsis. In Minecraft, you can see their strength when they easily knock down trees and other mobs that come in their path. By looking at their appearance when they are armored, one can have an idea of their health and resistance. The next mod is Serious Player Animations. This is a mod that introduces new animations for common Minecraft activities such as running, jumping, fighting, or eating. Currently, this is a new animation mod that is only available on version 1.20. However, there will likely be more updates to come in the future. Additionally, this is a lightweight mod, so it is suitable for adding to your mod packs. The next mod is called Thingamabobs and Doohickeys. It is a mod that adds a range of wacky, cartoon-themed gadgets, which have been balanced to match Minecraft vanilla. The first gadget is the spring-loaded boxing glove which is a spring-loaded gun that fires a boxing glove. This is something you may have seen on TV at least once. The second gadget is the comically large mallet, which can be held for a while and then knocked down to cause a large amount of damage to the target accompanied by a strange sound. The third gadget is the most interesting one. It is called explosive pastry, which is a type of cake that can explode. You can use it to create extremely interesting games or throw it at a target. When it explodes, it will knock the enemy high. The tenth mod is called Animals and Potions. It introduces new animal mobs and potions with interesting elemental effects. The most exciting features of the mod is the new potions. For instance, the bone meal potion when thrown on the ground will produce an instant tree and inflict damage on surrounding enemies. It also applies bone meal to a fairly wide area. Another potion is the fire hurricane potion, which creates a fire tornado about 8 blocks high that draws in nearby mobs and sets them on fire, including the player. Thus, it requires careful handling. The hurricane potion is the third type, which creates a hurricane twice the size of the fire tornado. Instead of drawing in, it knocks nearby mobs up and rotates them in the direction of the hurricane. Finally, the wind potion creates wind in the direction the player looks, allowing them to glide a short distance. The eleventh mod is called Just Enough Guns. Its name may sound familiar to you, as it follows the naming style of many other Minecraft mods. This mod adds three types of gunmaking tables that can create three different levels of guns, the Scrap Workbench, the Gunmetal Workbench, and the Gunite Workbench. Scrap Workbench allows you to create guns using basic materials in Minecraft, like iron ingots and wooden planks. On the other hand, Gunmetal Workbench allows you to use gunmetal instead of iron to craft guns. And if you use Gunite Workbench, you can create guns using gunite ingots as the main material. Additionally, the bullets of the guns crafted with Gunite Workbench will have special materials that increase their damage. In this gun mod, the firearms will have three different power levels. For instance, the double barrel shotgun will inflict less damage compared to a gun. It will require 4 to 5 bullets to kill villagers. Since the materials needed to make it are readily available, its damage will be consistent with Minecraft vanilla. On the other hand, the assault rifle will take more than one magazine to demolish the Ravager. This type of damage won't make Minecraft too easy to win and cause boredom. 
Additionally, the guns in this mod can attach accessories like barrels, sights, and gun handles to make them easier to use. If you want a more challenging gameplay experience in Minecraft, you can try using Lucky Smarter Mobs mod. This mod enhances the abilities of hostile mobs, making them smarter and more powerful. For instance, spiders will be able to shoot webs on the ground, which will trap players and make it hard for them to escape. If you get caught in these webs, you will have to face attacks from other monsters. Creepers will now be able to explode even when they are behind walls, which can be devastating if you have just built a new house. Endermen will also be more dangerous, as they can now teleport players close to them and attack. This makes it harder for players to hide from them by placing only two blocks. Finally, Ravagers will destroy some types of blocks to attack players, such as Oak Planks. The 13th mod is called Carry On. It is a mod that allows you to carry blocks in Minecraft, just like in real life. When you carry heavy items or chests that contain many items, your movement will become slower, making it more realistic. You can even carry other mobs in your hand, such as a monkey or a whale. It's interesting to note that if you tried to carry a whale in real life, you would most definitely be crushed as thin as a leaf. Another fun feature of this mod is that you can easily recreate the familiar movement patterns of the three bears from the cartoon We Bear Bears. It is simple to stack three bears on top of each other with this mod. In a previous video, I introduced you to the placeable items mod that allows you to place items in Minecraft in a realistic way. However, that mod is only compatible with older versions of Minecraft. Today, I want to introduce you to a new mod called Placeables, which offers similar capabilities and is compatible with version 1.20. The functionality of this mod is quite similar to the previous one. If you have used the previous mod, you may notice some differences between the two. However, Mods that excel in creating a realistic Minecraft environment always have an interesting quality that makes me want to play more. To use food in Minecraft, simply right-click on it, and it will become immediately available. This applies to all types of food, except buckets of milk. Lastly, I want to emphasize that I greatly value gold and emeralds. It looks so cool. The next mod is called Prefabricated. It is a mod that can help you build a house instantly. To use it, you need to have the mod's items and choose the location where you want to build a house. Once activated, you will see a section to choose the type of house you want to build. and you can even customize the color of the bed and the glass. However, building immediately will destroy surrounding blocks, so this mod also has a preview mode that allows you to choose the exact location for your house. After selecting the house type and previewing its location, you can simply click on the build button. In less than a second, you will have a modern style house that you often see in videos on YouTube. This mod contains numerous items that can assist you in building houses or large structures quickly. I believe that players who enjoy exploring the world will find this mod particularly useful, as my friends do. When I attempted to construct my first wooden house, it defeat the Ender Dragon. If you want to improve your accuracy with bows or throwable items in Minecraft, there are two options available. The first option is to practice diligently and the second option is to install a mod that can assist in this regard. This particular mod helps players to determine the trajectory of arrows and throwable items, enabling them to hit their target more easily. By using this mod, I was able to take on the challenge of killing a skeleton from a very long distance. When aiming at mobs, a beeping sound can be heard, and it also displays the falling points of the arrows. What is your opinion on the trajectory estimation mod? Additionally, if you believe that you are skilled enough to play without this mod, please let me know in the comments section.
The 17th Minecraft mod is called Storage Drawers. It is an upgraded version of the standard chests in Minecraft. With storage drawers, you can organize your items into separate compartments, making it easier to keep track of your inventory. This is particularly useful for those who have experienced the frustration of a cluttered warehouse filled with chests. With this mod, you can maintain a neat and tidy storage system, which is a great feature for Minecraft players who value organization. If you add upgrade pieces, you'll be able to store more than one stack of items in a single storage drawer. This feature is designed to help you save space and avoid having too many drawers for one type of item. Now let's talk about the three keys I'm holding in my hand. The first key is used to lock the drawer, preventing unauthorized access. The second key allows you to see how many items are left in the drawer. The last key turns off the feature that displays item identification on the drawer. The 18th Minecraft mod introduces temperature effects to players, which is a common feature in survival games. Now when players enter the desert, their body temperature rises and they start to lose blood gradually. To avoid this, players need to head to places with lower temperatures such as rivers or forests. In snowy biomes, players will gradually freeze over time, their movement speed will slow down. Gradually over time, there will be a loss of blood. If you're planning to visit a place with high temperatures, it's recommended to wear clothes made from leaves. This will help in reducing the body temperature. However, make sure not to wear such clothes in cold places as it will lead to faster loss of blood. On the other hand, if you're heading towards a snowy biome, it's better to wear a set of wool armor. This will help in warming up the body immediately, and you won't have to suffer from the slow effect or frozen effect on the screen. The next Minecraft mod is called Lost Idols. It introduces idol blocks that come with amazing effects. One such block is the Undying Idol, an upgraded version of totems in Minecraft. This block makes you immortal within a certain area, protecting you from any damage. Strongest monster, even if the warden were to become one billion times more powerful. Bird idols have the ability to destroy phantoms in a large area. For instance, a command block can be used to summon hundreds of phantoms at once, without giving them a chance to escape the effect of the great block. Even if there is only one, the destruction can be achieved. Shulker idols, on the other hand, push players to a certain height. This is extremely useful in saving fireworks while using Elytra. The 20th mod of this video game called the Fake Steve. It only includes one monster that is a blend of Hero Brian and Cave Dweller. When I first saw the monster, it reminded me of the famous painting The Scream. The echoing screams of the monster gave me goosebumps as I am quite sensitive to sound. However, I learned while playing the mod that no matter how strong the monster is, it can be defeated by using a powerful gun. In this video, I have introduced 20 mods for Minecraft. If you have any questions or concerns regarding these mods, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you have any interesting mods you would like me to feature, please suggest them in the comments. I will carefully consider your suggestions and implement them in future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thank you for watching the entire video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.